What are you talking about? We heard you and Sean out talking. You said you weren't interested in Heather. No, I didn't. I said I was surprised I was happy. Ellie, please tell me how they heard the full story. Ellie told me to come and talk to you. I've some bad things that happened to me in my past. It's the reason I moved to London, to escape them. You're not the only one who can move to London to escape the bad things. This is your last chance, Dan. If you screw it up, I'm getting on that plane. So come on, why don't you come out for, for a walk with me? You know I can't. I have to sit here. Believe me, this is the last place you want to be. I can assure you. You end up with Sean Oak and Helen come back. Helen, I'm so sorry. Don't be. It's not your fault. Looks like you're moving to London. Boy, we need to talk. We don't have anything to talk about. Yes, Danny, we do. But look, we, we can't just be standing out here in the cold all day, so if you guys do need to talk, we can always go upstairs. Ellie, I don't think that's... That'd be a great idea. Ellie, is it? Yeah. Please, lead the way. Sure, come on. You're all right, Danny. We'll see. Right, let's make it quick. Okay, Danny, uh, No, Now, the... there you go. So do I get you anything else? Some biscuits or some sandwiches or something like that? No, 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 thanks. This is fine. Are you sure? It's no trouble. Ellie, do you think maybe you could give us some privacy? Yeah, sure. Of course. I was just, you know... We lost her too, you know. Losing you doesn't make that easier. I take it this isn't why you've tracked me down? No. It's ma- it's ma'am. She's sick. And it's serious. She's been asking about me. Really? Because the last time I saw her, she didn't want to speak to me ever again. God knows where. The wounds are still fresh. She was, she was just looking for someone to blame. I understand you needing someone to blame, but it didn't have to be me. After the accident, I needed my family, and they turned on me. I wasn't left with much of a choice. I think it was always a choice. Yeah, and I'm making one now. It's mum. You're not going to get another chance. I think she'd leave. Okay. Okay. I didn't know. So, if you change your mind, give us a call, yeah? What she's trying to say is, if you've got a problem, you don't need to keep it bottled up. You can you can talk to us about it. It's it's okay. Mm-hmm. Okay. Okay. 
Sean, I'll grab some berries. We're definitely going to need them. Brand, that's right. I've got a crate in my room. My sister Shauna was the baby of the family. She was the kind of butter wouldn't melt in your mouth sort of kid. Even when she was being bratty. Dad left when Mum was pregnant, so Alex practically raised us. He was like another parent to her, so whenever anything was really wrong, she'd always come to me. One night late last May, she was at a gaff party with the boyfriend, and they got into a big fight. So she locked herself in the bathroom and called me. When I got there, she was sobbing like a maniac. Apparently the fella had been kissing Janie Michelle behind the bike sheds or some sort of bullshit. She cried her eyes out all the way home. When we were coming up to the estate, that's when the drunk driver came out of nowhere. In his jeep. Her side of the car was crushed. His face smashed in against the steering wheel. And I walked away. I kept thinking to myself, if only I hadn't been tired, if I'd been focused on the road instead of trying to comfort her, maybe I could have seen him. Done something. Damn, it wasn't your fault. My mum didn't see it that way. She wouldn't even talk to me at the funeral. I was there in front of my whole family. Alone. Every single one of them blaming me for what happened. So I went home. I threw some clothes into a bag. And I went to the airport. I was on a flight to London that night, still dressed in black. How could I forgive myself when everyone around me was blaming me? I was the one who tried to wake up her lifeless body. I was the one who had to shower off her blood. I needed them, and they turned on me. Danny, I'm so sorry. We had, we had no idea. I, I'm sorry we pressured you to talk about it. It's okay. <laughs> you couldn't have known. But anyway, now my mum is sick. And asking for me, apparently. Well, are you going to go? I don't know. Thanks for watching season one of Wild Rovers. If you like the show, you can support us by liking and sharing the video. And subscribe to the channel for outtakes from season one coming next week, and so you'll be first to hear about future announcements. I Hate Being Single is a semi-autobiographical season from Rob Michael Kugel. In the series, we follow Rob as he tries to cope with life post-breakup. The show is a beautifully muted comedy, which has garnered awards and nominations for its writing, direction, and all that good stuff. But more importantly, it's very, very good. Check it out by clicking the link.